Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are feeling shiny today and that you are glad to be here in some spaces in the interwebs. I had a very eventful weekend. Two nights I kept my grandson while my daughter and her husband went to a Morgan Wallen concert in Oxford, Mississippi. It appears they had a great time and the concert was great. This was the first time that I kept my grandson overnight. But not only did I have that going on this weekend, I also, uh, if you watched the last video, heard that my daughter, who still lives at home, broke her hand in her last soccer game for the spring season. And she had to have hand surgery on Thursday. And Tuesday of last week, I attend, attended a funeral. My son-in-law's grandmother passed away, so I went to that to support my daughter and him and the rest of his family. And on Wednesday, I visited a family member who is currently in rehab in a nursing home. And then Thursday was my daughter's surgery. And then we did the babysitting over the weekend. So, well, and let's see, one more thing on Thursday was my 27th wedding anniversary. So last week was kind of a busy week. I did not get in uh, the filming mode to be able to do anything. And so I thought all weekend, all week really, and all weekend long about what I would do for this week's video. And I really and truly had thought about that Friday before my grandson came over to get it filmed. And I just didn't have it in me because, you know, amongst saying all the things I had going on last week, you know, I still had grocery shopping and the, the other little small things in life to tend to, to keep my home afloat. So anyway, I had in mind though to do these keys and make do some printmaking, fodder marking to you know have some collage along the way for mixed media junk, junk journaling. And so I had these keys that I had collected from some stuff that came from my granddaddy's house. And so I dug those few out of that bag and then I had another box of his stuff so all of these came and were his those that one right there actually is a Chrysler key he years ago worked at a Chrysler dealership and so I'm assuming that that key was probably from there and anyway so I'm taking this paint this uh, white paint and lightly putting on here and setting these keys down to see how this is going to work out. This is actually the first time that I have ever done the print making with keys like this. Um, so by the end, you'll kind of see how I've learned what works and what doesn't work and the mistakes I've made. So maybe if you are in the line to do this, you can kind of see where I did mess up and make some different alternate decisions of your own. But my thought process here was to lightly coat these and go ahead and set them and see how many I could get going at one time. I liked the variety of the different keys, so I called myself just getting in there and getting it done. And I knew that this would be a messy project I had laid some tweezers out thinking that I might would try to work with the keys like that. And I do later on in the process, but if you want to know the honest truth, they really, they weren't for me in this project. They didn't really serve me that well because the grip, I kept losing the grip with them. But anyway, I continue applying this light coat 
and putting them on different pieces of paper here. And you'll notice by the time that I get them all done, and then I start to go picking them up. Sadly, the ones on the grayer sheet, the paint already started drying. So when I went to remove them, they were already sticking to the page. I'm like, Ashley, you know, you did not think this out very clearly. You should have known that light coat of paint would start drying that quickly. Yep. And I dropped that one. And so I just went with it and left it there. I was like, okay, well, you're supposed to be that way. So I just kind of left it in place. And then I'm going to start the process of uh, taking them off. But I needed me a sip of my coffee first because I still had not been quite awake this morning filming this because I'm actually filming this the day of upload and so I was really pressed for time. Okay, so you see here now I'm, I'm discovering these aren't coming up very well. So I really messed up by doing that. I should have taken them off immediately. And so then I started thinking about, well, those ones I had just put down would be less wet. So that's why I grabbed those so the trick was is to you know make sure you had an even amount of paint on there have an even amount of paint and then press once you have it in place and sometimes it goes on there better and sometimes it doesn't but I would recommend having a bowl of water nearby to try to get the paint off because if not, the paint is going to stick to your keys. And if you care about keeping them clean for another project, you're going to want to get that paint off. And I will say by the time I got through with this project, I did have the paint off a good bit, but there still was some lagging around. But I had to get on and start uploading this video and so I said I will just have to work on that later to get the excess paint off but for now right now I'm getting as much paint off as I can and cleaning them up real well because I want to use these keys again to see how much more um, prints I can get with them I knew that my water would end up getting to where I couldn't see the keys in the bottom, so I just had to keep reaching and grabbing to find them and steadily cleaning that paint off. And, of course, I had some paper that stuck to them because that is just dictionary pages, and that could have been one of the problems. I am going to, here in a little bit, move on and start working on a different type of piece of paper and the results do work out a little bit better. So my recommendation would be if you want to do this project, maybe use something that's not as flimsy as, say, a uh, dictionary page or any other type of book paper. I would use something that's a little more sturdy, like these pieces that I'm putting out. That green piece is... A uh, piece of cardboard that come off of a sprite box the denim and then the cardboard there below the denim it come off of something on the back side it's like I think it may have come off of a bathroom rug or something that but the point was is I wanted to use the white side and then those other two pieces of paper the cream and the other little white they're thicker pieces of paper as well so these are the ones that I'm fixing to start working with and I did kind of get better results and I kind of liked it better, but you'll see as I keep working, trying to get those keys cleaned up and it, the paint really gets in the grooves there. So you have to work to try to keep that out. 
Have you ever used keys before to do any printmaking, um, so to speak? If you have, what is a tip that you would say in difference of what I have done here? You know, of course, some of the things that someone might would do different, you know, kind of has the has to do with us as a creative individually and that kind of thing. So what works for one might not work for the other. But I would love to hear something that you did different if you have done this before because it might help someone else who is watching this video and help me for the next time because I really would love to do this again when I don't feel like I'm in such a, a hurry. That's how I felt this morning that I was in a hurry trying to get this filmed for y'all because I really wanted to stick to my Monday upload. So I continue here with the light coat of paint on there and I thought about doing it like that upside down to press a little bit better and hoping that it would work out. And this is where I begin to use the tweezers. And I think this time, yeah, it ends up working out a little okay. Of course, it slides around too much. I really wasn't that impressed with how I put the cardboard on the first time. It worked out better as I went along. Maybe I had a little bit too much paint on there to begin with. The tweezers did kind of work out okay with this, but you will see in a little bit. I try to use them again, and it just kind of keeps hopping around. I'm taking some of that paint. I realized that there was a lot, so I'm going to take it and do another little stamp here. Yep, there we go. So that piece is good, but the first time I did stamp on that green piece, I had too much paint on there, and so to me, the print of the key doesn't look as good, but hey, you know, that's what makes it, so I'm not that worried about it, but the denim... It, it, they turned out pretty well. I would really love to do a bunch of those. This is kind of a slow, tedious process. So you've got to know that you've got some time set aside and that you're willing to be patient and you know decide if you want to use one color or several different colors i kind of felt like at this point the white would be a good decision to use and then once i get to the white pieces of paper i'm like well that ain't gonna white work white on white come on ashley and so i end up getting my pink paint out I kind of liked just kind of working with one key better than doing a whole bunch of different ones. Although I was glad to have the variety of keys to be able to choose from. And like I said, I really would love to do this again with uh, a lot more different colors and find some more things to do the printmaking on. I just kind of grabbed these few things that were there on my desk. Oh, and speaking of on my desk, early on in the video, I was, you know, cleaning up my area from where I stopped filming my last video where I had just randomly put some stuff in my art journal last week. And I was clearing out the wax papers that I had put between the pages to keep um, the pages from sticking together. So that's what you saw me doing in the beginning of this video is just kind of looking at that stuff and taking those away and then clearing my desk up. So if you missed last week's video, that would kind of give you um, a hint about what that was about. 
and you can travel back and take a look at those. I think you would enjoy that. So I'm still working here with the white paint and I'm going to use it on this um, khaki cream color paper. It is paper that I got out of the scrapbooking section, say like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It kind of has a little bit of a texture to it, but it's just a thicker paper versus saying like a book page. And that key, I don't know, it was kind of weirdly done, so it didn't do the best printmaking. I loved the shape and everything of it, but it was kind of like the, the edges around the top part of it stuck out further, and so it didn't let me get a good flat print of the key. So that's why I decided to pick it up and kind of press to see. And that did work out a little bit better, but it still wasn't as good. So I kind of did away with that. That cream paper was just like a scrap piece that you can see where I've cut some hearts out of it before. So at this point, I was just kind of testing out the different pieces of paper to see what kind of results I would get and the different keys and so I decided to get the pink to be able to work on this white paper. Me and that pink don't get along. I always have to get something and poke a hole. It's like one of my only ones that I have to do that with but anyway it's I don't have too too much more left in that tube. I actually need to order more I think I've maybe mentioned that to y'all before, but anyway, so I finally got it unclogged and kind of started working with it, but I needed a place to be able to put some of the paint because it kind of was taking up a little bit, but then again, I kind of needed more out to be able to work with. For some reason, I kind of liked that smaller key, so I kept working with it. The pink didn't go on as good as the white. This is where you'll see me struggling with those tweezers. A flopping fish. I finally said forget it with the tweezers. It wasn't working out for some reason. And believe it or not, that little bit of paint that I put out, I had to end up putting more. And before it's all said and done, man, I ended up with a big old glob out and I was like oh gracious this was towards the end of filming I didn't need that much paint out so off camera I had to end up taking that top off of the paint container and you know sucking it back up in there I keep working with the same key and the same color paint on this sheet and I'm going to eventually cover this whole thing with the key markings going every which way and to me by the end it's probably one of my favorite of this project just because I did cover the whole entire thing on some of the other ones like the denim or the khaki or whatever I'd love to go back and spend some time and cover those fully in the key marks as well but I was kind of just testing out different papers and different paint and different keys just to see the differences in this project. And maybe you're thinking, well, where could I find some keys to work on this project? I would say look in your junk drawer. You would pop you might have some keys that you don't realize 
or ask maybe uh, one of your parents or a grandparent if they have any old keys laying around that they're not using. I don't know if maybe old antique stores have old keys or That was one of the biggest things about getting some things from my grandfather's house. In my mind, all I could see and think about was the art projects that I would make and use the stuff with. And so some of my family necessarily couldn't understand why I was keeping some of the things that I were, was. But um, seeing this piece right here come together makes me appreciate the things that I did keep. And my granddaddy would be so proud. I could just see him smiling from ear to ear if I told him what I made with all of this. He always appreciated all my creative processes. He loved when I would write books, when I would paint, my photography. He loved it all. And that was something else that I got from his home was a camera that he had. Um, probably you know, when he was a young adult. And it made me think once I realized that he had that and I saw him even in old pictures with that same camera and stuff, I said to myself, you know, that is where I got my love of photography from and filming. You don't realize the things that really are woven in your soul and your character and being that is passed down, you know, through your DNA and just being raised by your grandparents and different stuff like that. There were so many other things that while looking through his stuff that I realized that he did, like using note cards to write stuff on. I didn't even know. I've never, even as a child, I don't remember that. But I use note cards all the time to write my grocery list on. It's, I, I, it just blows my mind that to see some of the things that he did that I actually do them too and didn't even realize he did. Using the sponge to get the pink paint on really wasn't the trick here. And I think this is where I end up squirting out way too much because I couldn't see. Yep, that's, you see that big old glob? Man, I made a mess doing that. But um, I couldn't see how much was coming out. Well, I'm about to fill this page up and then I'm going to show it to you closer up to um, just be able to see what this project ended up being like. I'm very thankful that I went with this and I enjoyed the process. I hope that you have found some helpful tips or you are encouraged to create your own like this. You see how well it turned out? That piece, I really, really love that. That's what makes me want to go back and fill in some more of the other pieces like the denim but I'm going to now use the Chrysler key to do something different here on this other little small white piece of paper. It's, a, it's like a thicker mixed media um, piece of paper, so it kind of does a little better than the book pages. But I'm going to continue on with the pink paint, and I'm going to fill this page up, and then I will be done with this project for today. So... I'm going to just close out here, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'm so excited that you are here, and let me know if you tried this or if you have tried this before, and maybe one day soon I can add some of these pieces to some of my work, like in my art journal or something. That would be cool to do, and I also would love to do the key printmaking again one day in different colors and on different pieces of paper. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.